Hello everyone and welcome to Data Analysis with R. This is the start of section 2. Let's look at the section overview, our first video 2.1. In this section, this is what we'll look at. We'll go through five videos and end it with a quiz. The first video will include an R warm-up and look at the package QuantMod, something we'll use throughout this course. We'll then move on to equity, go over some definitions and how we can download some prices. We'll then model these prices and look at returns. The predictability of asset returns and randomness, mainly focusing on what a Monte Carlo simulation is. Then in the last video, we'll go over some practical examples and some financial modeling, including the S&P 500. Our warm up introduction to quant mod. Now we move on to the R console. I've listed a couple lines, 10 through to 12, um, which you should always use when opening R. The first one cleans up the R environment. The second one then allows you to set the working directory. And the third then allows you to check the current working directory, which should obviously match the one you selected in line 11. I'm now going to run through these three pieces of code by just simply hitting enter at the end of the code. Please note there is no need to highlight the line. I'm just doing this for the benefit of yourself so it's more clear to see which line I'm actually executing. So now we have set the directory and we have also checked the current working directory, which is my local drive. Now I've listed an if statement um, that will check for the quant mode package if it's already installed or not, and then it will download the library quant mode. You can now use the, the right window and move to the packages tab and then search for quant mode and check that it's been installed by the blue tick. You can also use the question mark function that allows you to get a description of what quant mode is and it basically opens up the help window on the right hand side. This can be useful for all packages and functions if you want to have a better understanding of what they do and how to use them. Now let's move on to the vignette which you had previously seen on the R console found under the help page. On the right hand side, I've listed what quant mod is actually ideal for and where we can use it. Firstly, retrieving some data, stock prices, then plotting these in a time series, as well as performing some statistical analysis on this data. Now, here are some examples of functions price download. This will be get symbols. And in the case of plotting, we have candle charts. And in the cases of calculating returns, we have both all returns and period returns. Again, these were explored in later videos.